Hi, this is a Pi Simple GUI tips video. Um, I make these for my future self and anyone else that might be interested. Um, today we're going to talk about the table element and how to update table a row of table values with uh, information that we have in a form type environment. Um, the table itself, the table data is actually, they call it values, but it's actually just a Python list of lists. So each list is the column, is a column. And then the list of lists is the rows on the column. So each row will be a list of its own. So we can take advantage of that. And also uh, another item you put in a, in a table is the headings. And a table, headings is just another list of strings. And uh, they come in very handy as well in our example code. So let's get to it. So um, we're just doing importing PySimple GUI. <clears throat> we're starting out with our table data. I'm just calling it TD. And it's just an empty, empty list at this point. But we do know what our headings we want them to be. And we're just making a list of that. And we're having number. My choice was just to do a number, a text string, and a combo choice. Now, a number and a text string, they're both going to end up being text unless you do more work in here because the input is going to just be a text number. So you would have to do uh conversion to make it a true number but uh i just wanted to differentiate it here just in that so we've got a short layout here so we're going to have a um a input an input and a combo box just to show how a combo box would work with this so we're putting our headings uh list to really good use here in our layout so we can reference these by index. So headings sub zero is going to be number. Heading sub one is going to be text string. And heading sub two is going to be combo choice. So I'm using that as our text to identify what we're trying to input before it. And we're also using that as our key for our input. It's going to make it real easy. We're going to be using the same thing because it's just a text string and our key wants to be a text string. So uh, that works out. So we're doing zero, one, and two. And we're doing the same thing. My combo, I just, I sh just uh, red, green, and blue. I just couldn't think of anything else. It's just a list of things that you want to do. It's just a built-in list. And then I just have two buttons. I got a button that has the title add table row, self-explanatory, and an exit button. Of course, we know how that works. And then they're in the middle, and then actually I have a table laid out. And it's just a very basic table. We start out with our values, and that's going to be our TD list up here. Uh, even though it's empty, it's going to work out fine until we, it's going to show up as empty until we use it. And then it wants our heading. We define them up there and it needs a key of its own so we can update it. So it's called my table. And then we're just saying, okay, this is my layout and window. So we need to do that. And this is our basic events.read thing. I uh, put this print in here, but it just I just copied and pasted from another code so that it works. And then uh, we're saying if the event is add table row, all we're doing is grabbing when we do this, anytime we get an event, it's going to pull these input values as and combo values into the values um, dictionary that it's going to bring in. And um, 
we'll have access to that at any time that there's a, an event. So that, that makes it really good. And um, the way you do that is by, uh, you can access it by values. And then this would normally be a text based thing. So, but since we have this uh, headings with a text thing here, we can use our headings dash zero, which is gonna, if you replaced it with text, it would just say number. And the same way values dot text string and uh, values dot combo choice, which is our keys up here. Same as our keys. So we're using using this one list of number of data uh, text strings up here to reference everything in our program. I hope uh, if you look at it, you'll make it clear. But if you have any questions, ask in the comments. And then um, when we do that, we just append. This is appending the table. So we're adding a list to our table data. So then it becomes a list of lists. And it's going to add the first row the first time through that we do this. And that updates that list of lists, TD, but, it, but then we have to update our table. So we do that with this window and we reference our what element we want to update. And we say update and we want to update the values to the new value of TD of the list of lists TD. Basically, that's all there is to it. So we can show it running. So like I say, this is a really simple uh, code here. All we have to do is we're going to enter stuff in here. So like I say, this is, a, I got it listed as a number, but it could be, it's going to be a text based number anyhow. And we can say my text. And we can make a choice. We can say, I want red this time. And then we got our table data. Like I said, it um, we got nothing uh, verifying any of this data. So, but we can add a row and we do it. Well, my text in red and it added that to it. So we can change this to negative 1.3. And <clears throat> more text. And we can change our red to blue. And we can add another row. And it's going to add another row. And we can do one more just in case you were, if we leave that blank, and we'll say some more text and we'll do the green i guess but see if we can leave that blank there's nothing saying that that's going to work be a you know a number it's just going to return an empty string so you can see that's empty but you got that there so anyhow that's the basics of how uh, getting it started like I say, you probably need to add stuff in there to verify that you're doing your data is what you want it to be. And then you'll probably need to also make it so that you could edit this text or something. So you would have to be able to pick a row and then be able to go back to updating it. But that would be a different video on how to do that. You could go back and update that put those back in here and then have it another button that says update that row rather than append the row. Anyhow, that's my video for today. Hope it helps. Thanks for watching. If you're watching.